<laughs> Okie dokie, we're in the game now. Actually, neither of you two are in the World 20, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, I am being right now. Oh, sorry, zeros. Sorry. Whenever I see purple, I think of roasted. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so today we're here with uh, Zero and Rogue. Uh, John is out with family. Malachi is out with family at the moment. Uh, Vixie is helping Lexi with something, and she'll, she'll be here shortly. And Roasted was pulled away, uh, but he's currently in this call. He's just deafened. Uh, so we're going to be looking at uh, Zero and Rogue for the most part inside this pretty little hospital. Probably not a whole lot too much of move or anything like that, but mostly just uh, some verbal RP and stuff like that. So, you guys have interacted with uh, Porky Boy uh, at the moment. Uh, he told you guys uh, that he was looking forward to getting out of the hospital as soon as possible to go and talk to his sister, of which you guys weren't where he had previously, but apparently he does. And uh, y'all went off to uh, go talk to Bark Boy. Uh, Rogue, do you have anything specific you wish to ask um, Porcupine Boy before you leave? Uh, since the internet was kind of screwing itself the last um, week. <laughs> now, this is the guy that I um, electrified, right? Uh, this is one of the guys you electrified. The guy that you hardcore electrified is the guy you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be talking to next. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Not really, not really. Okay, cool. So as you guys leave the room, kind of uh, embracing the life of pain, suffering, and horror that you've embraced upon this guy, uh, I'm assuming that Zero, you know where the other peeps are? Uh, he's just going door to door. I don't think he actually knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you completely forgot what the, hello? what the nurse told you. But um, yeah, you so dragged me down here. Yeah, hello. Uh, yeah, so we're there, we're gonna be looking at them two for a little bit until Vixie comes back, and then probably switching back and forth between them. Alright. Yeah. Um. Hey, Zero, sorry if I annoyed you there. Uh, uh, you good? Remember when you said shh to me? <laughs> oh, no, I'll just do it talking to the game, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you were upset at me. No, you're good. But anyways, so uh, as you guys are moving from door to door, uh, you see several patients from people in bandages to people actually on fire and being put out by several nurses. There's one person who looks like his arm is bent in about seven different ways, which is deeply unpleasant to look at. But you eventually get to a door with uh, Barky Boy. Um, you, you don't actually know his name. Wait, you're recording? Yes. It's oh. 12 minutes past when we should have started, so yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you guys walk into the uh, room with uh, Bar Barky Boy, which I'm going to just show his picture here so you guys remember what it looks like if I can find it. Bark, bark. <laughs> uh, characters, on, nope. Villain group, nope. I don't have his picture. Oh, I do. There you are. Barky boy, this dude, he has a collar on him, um, if I remember correctly. So he's just kind of laying down on bed. He still smells vaguely of charcoal and coal and burned outsides and possibly insides. Mm. He also looks mm, like delicious. he's having a very bad day. I, I make my way there. I just scan all over him. <laughs> mm, you seen better days. <laughs> He looks at you and raises his eyebrow. <clears throat> oh, don't worry. I'm not going to kill you yet. <laughs> Why are you here? Well, coming to see, coming to see all y'all. I mean, put up a great, a great fight. Almost got some of us killed. And also, you bit the hell out of that guy with the grapes. Just want to commend your efforts. Commend for what reason? For being a good fighter. He raises his eyebrow again. <laughs> you you, you I'm feel giving. like he doesn't talk a lot. <laughs> Not a bit of a talker, huh? 
<laughs> he kind of like jumps on the bed. <laughs> Who oh, are that's a shame. You? Who am I? Oh, people around here call me Mr. Torque. Mm. Of course, if those people were alive, they'd be calling me that, but, you know. <laughs> he raises his eyebrow again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not going to kill you yet. Unless Mr. Boom Boom has a different idea. <laughs> he looks over at Rogue. And you? Me? Well. Mm. What can I say? I mean, um, this is the guy I have just here, right? Mm. He looks back at the man now straddling him with several explosives strapped to his body. <laughs> Do you wish to know something? Well, a lot of things. Also, not much else. So tell me. He kind of like leans down. Hmm. What has made you decide to become... Uh, what do you call it? A villain? Syndicate? Any of them? Hmm... Why would I not want to live in a lifestyle that's simple? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Some people have motives. Mm. Do you? He pulls out a grenade. Indefinitely. <clears throat> what motive is that? Uh, he pulls out a grenade, and he just um, tosses it up and down, catching it. Mm, I'm not sure. There's one thing I'm very interested in, but I can't put my finger on it. Hmm. Would that be explosions? Ah, you're a smart man for a dog like yourself. Oh, what do you know? There's a grenade in my hand. Are you mentally you hold it? okay? You no! He pulls the pin. Mm. Are you going to explode? Maybe. Is that good in a hospital? <laughs> he looks at the grenade <laughs> that he's... <laughs> Probably not. Pull the but... pin. Three, <laughs> two, one... Dog just and stares at you. It doesn't set off, it just sets smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. The grenade goes off. But it just lets out smoke. <laughs> <clears throat> just lets out smoke. Oh, Mr. Shy. I was trying so hard. <laughs> there, there's a look of pure dumbfound curiosity and confusion on this dog what? he's a little he's a little shy there um mr shy is very um nervous he doesn't like to be as explosive as the others he looks over at rogue is this your friend ah uh, yes this is my friend hmm. i've question why we we're friends but have you thought about, about getting a new <clears throat> friend i i have but the cool thing is i haven't been able to get rid of this one hmm. <laughs> he jumps off the bed well that's because i'm irresist irresistible <laughs> yeah let's go with that <laughs> He, he, like, tips his head and bows. <laughs> hmm. He nods to you. You you get the Sometimes. distinct feeling he... So far, he has never answered you with a statement. He's only said questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of off-putting, to be honest with you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but anyway... Your team, your life, why you're here, why you're not here, blah, 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 blah. So, mm. tell me. What's about so it? What's, 
what sort of motive, what sort of everything, what has inspired you to become this? Or is it just as it is? <laughs> Do you have fun? Oh, definitely. He nods to you. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Do you have your answer? Maybe. <laughs> Mm. It just kind of nods and leans back. Were they my team? <clears throat> or were they simply those I was put with? I don't know. I was put in with this man, Mr. Stranger. I didn't get your... I was put in with Mr. Stranger. I didn't actually get your name. Who are you again? <laughs> he looks at <that> Rogue. <laughs> Why are you looking at me, for? Rogue? <laughs> what, what was your name again, Mr. Stranger? I, I didn't really get your name. Ah, just call me Rouge. Rouge? Yep. Well, Mr. Rouge, it is very nice to meet you. Good thing you haven't blown up yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... I like to take my chances, as you can tell from my, um... Unnatural power. Hmm. Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna make great explosions together. He shakes his hand. <laughs> I can imagine. Yep. That is, if, if we are to survive every single thing this world has for us. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> the dog is, looks over to you. Survive. Do you know what it's like to be electrocuted until you are nearly unconscious? Um, oh yeah, that was Mr. Flashy. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, I will say this: it did get to take some time to get used to, but I'm well. I'm not getting burned anymore, so I see that's that as a good sign. And I'm not passing out, so downside to my electricity is like crimson lightning. I call it. Is that mm. sometimes? It goes where I wanted to. Sometimes it goes into me, and sometimes it goes to me and my friends. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's more of a gamble, to be honest, but a fun gamble. <clears throat> he nods to you. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Mm. Yes, it is a very interesting power. It's burned me uh, more times than it's been successful, but when successful, it does damage. Sounds you, exhilarating. You hear a nurse come in uh, as she looks at the two of you. Uh, why, why, hello there. I didn't realize uh, Mr. What's his name? Um, villains. Uh, Hoi guy. Hoiki? Hoiki. Mr. Hoiki had any friends? Oh, uh, technically his last name is Chun. Chun Hu. Mr. Chun Hu. Oh, more of acquaintances. Mr. Chun Hu. Oh, we're more acquaintances than friends or. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the, he's a very quiet person, so I'm not <laughs> sure how much you're going to be able to talk to him. Also, we have to change his medication, so. Mm. And you know, y you might want to get get what's in his hand. It might go off in a few minutes. She looks at his hand. <laughs> <laughs> she put a bomb He's... in his hand, or is that the Mister Flashy? Uh, the the Mister. Still holding the grenade. <laughs> oh, is that the Mister Shy? Mister Sh Shy, the one that just yeah. <laughs> she looks at the grenade and immediately snatches it out of his hands. She looks at your bandolier of grenades. She looks at the grenade. Surprise! Uh -uh. Were, were you planning on making him explode? Mm, maybe. We, uh, don't, uh, don't go call security. <laughs> 
Oh, don't worry about it. Most of these are duds. Except this one. Do you want to test it? Here you go. <laughs> she looks at you and starts slowly moving out of the room. <laughs> I swear, it won't kill you much. She closes the door. I swear to God. You're fairly well, certain I... she's going to go get security. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I don't know about you, Rose. But I think, I think we, we, we leave. have overstayed our welcome. What do you say? <laughs> mm. We're gonna leave. I with say a so. Let's leave this. Let's let's leave our um little friend here with um a good goodbye. Shall we? Oh, really? He pulls out shotgun. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> God. Uh... The dog dude have... just looks. Concerned, almost. Uh, don't worry, I won't shock you too much. <laughs> At least, there's a one for a chance I will. <laughs> I don't know. I have no she... control over it, so... to be honest. Good God. So do we shoot him, or do we fry him? <laughs> ah. You want to hurt Doggo? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he yes. said, let's, let's say goodbye. The goodbye means... Mm, I mean death. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, let's see. Uh, wait. I am just going to... Mm -hmm. uh, do this. See what I, I roll. <laughs> 16. <laughs> uh, sorry. I should have said that. It's like... You're good. Basically, no. I think I said I was trying to try to shock him. Mm -hmm. There's one for chance that would happen. So, mm -hmm. so uh, I think higher up is able to shock. Yeah. So you just start to shock him. <laughs> wait, wait. What was that? I so the electricity just, just bounces and him? hits him in the head, and he just. Just convulses for for a minute or so. It's just now conscious. <laughs> oh, shockingly effective! Oh yeah, it is when it works. <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! Christ. That should teach him a lesson. A lesson. Now let's go before um security comes in the does the same to us. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fair enough. Withdraws the shotgun. <laughs> God. So you eventually get out of the out of the building um without being spotted by the nurse or the four uh security guards that you see rushing to the now unconscious doggo who <laughs> didn't do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> It's all about impressions, my man. Jesus oh, definitely. Christ. I swear so... to God, you guys. <laughs> you're more chaotic than we are. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you walk out of the room. And, uh... Also, I have to ask, why is the gas room in here? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. We have so much fun with that. I'm blowing up the fucking building. <laughs> if, if he wants, if he's feeling it. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus mm, what do you say, Rouge? Do you want to blow up the building, or do you want to just leave it for another time? Um. Oh, well, I was thinking about setting a tank for later. No, could come in handy. Fair enough. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well. Jesus. Oh. Christ. He goes to the counter. Is there like a nurse there? <laughs> Mm -hmm. so another nurse is standing there and she's like, oh, hello gentlemen uh, are you here to see someone? Oh, we've already seen a few people but I, I need to say, there's a crazy maniac up there who is lying in bed at this very moment um with a little personality well, no, there's, a, there's a person up there sleeping in a bed with a shockingly a shocking personality, you might want to check him also the security coming, so Ta ta. She raises her eyebrows. You start walking past. <laughs> well, my job here is done. Let's go. Jesus Christ! So you finally get out of the hospital, uh, and you have a couple of uh, 
you know, objectives that you could possibly do. Uh, you do have a paper that the lead boss gave you. Uh, well, technically, most of you, but uh, <laughs> is basically a folder containing uh, the last known whereabouts of Jack the Stitcher, as well as some of his... Uh, I'll oh, move you guys to different scene real quick. Some of his um, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Oh, mama, that thing's gonna get blown up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it is a folder containing Jack Stitcher's last whereabouts. Uh, actually, I could just show you kind of in the city here, which is roughly in this location, ish. There. Uh, last known whereabouts, as well as some of his, uh, well, the things he leaves behind. <laughs> so, effectively, they are, uh, you would say they're corpses, but usually corpses have insides. And they don't look like a person who surgically stitched together two halves of a human body. Yeah, it's unpleasant. Um, so you, you, you know can what, Roach? We should definitely go investigate this man. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's definitely an option you guys can do. And there is a note <laughs> in there from the big boss guy who says, uh, the note of which reads, uh, your job, which we're hiring you for, obviously, is to go and hunt <laughs> down Jack the Stitcher and warn him. If you make it back alive, we will pay you. Hmm. An easy enough job. What do you say, Mister? What was your name again? Rouge. <laughs> uh, Rouge. Yep. That's mm -hmm. right. Name. What do you say? Should we go and pay the man a visit? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can say. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Beauty. Let's go. Christ. Yep. So as you guys also, walk, we're gonna have to. Huh? Also, we're gonna have to stop by and repair my four babies that have been used. <laughs> you gotta make more <laughs> fucking <laughs> dolls. Good God. We're gonna have to stop to the store and make four more of my babies because I feel naked about them. Oh God. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> We'll be sure to stop by there after we're done with all business here. Excellent. <laughs> so as you guys start walking through town, you kind of get back to roughly his last known location. It's a pretty dark area. Um, as you guys are walking through the area, it does start to get a little bit darker. Uh, so we're going to move to nighttime right here. Oh, hey, my kind of area. Yeah, it's a very nice area. It's a bunch of alleys for the most part. Uh, a lot of uh, deadbeats are hanging around. There's a lot of homeless people. Uh, there's some nightclubs every now, every other couple of ways. Uh, it's a pretty dark area for the most part and perfect hunting grounds for a serial murderer. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a couple more people in this area than what appears in the picture, obviously. Uh, so there is a nice little crowd for you guys to interact with for the most part. There's also a couple of buildings. Uh, the last known location of one of his corpses was near the Fujitora house. Um, if you'd like to go and knock on those doors or if you'd like to just interact with some of the other people. Hmm. Chances for socializing. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. What do you say, Rouge? Mm. Who's that? Hey, Vixen. Hi, Vixie. Yeah. Hey. Got your steps hey. done. Yeah, I'll we got say. we got the stuff done. Awesome. It is Vixen. I almost blew up the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> But yeah, so you guys are kind of walking around. You can talk to Fujitora's house, or you guys can talk to some of the other people just kind of casually walking by. Although you're not sure if they would have any knowledge of Jack the Stitcher since they're just random passerbys. But hey, you might get lucky. Um, what do you, you guys like to do? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, Mr. Torque is always going to say hi to random people anyway, but... <laughs> He's got to make his way and knock on the door. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, dokie. Knocking on the door, a uh, 
probably about 34 years old woman uh, opens and she leans against her and she's like, yes. Hmm. We have a few questions and we need a few answers. Well, Y'all cops. I already told the cops everything I knew about my son's death. Hmm. Do I look like a cop? You look like an idiot. Of course <laughs> I do. All the more reason to talk with me. I feel like that's all the reason to shut the door on you and hope you and pray that you kill yourself with your own stupid attire. Preferably by <laughs> hanging. Uh, maybe one day. But besides that, do you know anyone called Jack the... Was it the Ripper? Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher, it would be. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she looked... Mm -hmm. Uh, the me. man who murdered know. my son in cold blood, ripped out his insides, bled him to death, and then sewed his body back up like a mannequin on display. He did? He did? Mm. Wow, that's impressive. In the alleyway to our niche. left. If you go in there, you can see the blood-soaked ground. Wait, they used to have to clean that up? She looks at you, and she looks at the street behind you. Do you think any fucker would want to clean these streets? Good point. Good point. Hmm. If that, that is all, gentlemen... Have have a... hmm? That poor soul that decides to clean up will probably have a death wish. Hmm. They took away the organs, but when the entirety of a human body bleeds into the alleyway that's quite difficult to clean hmm. Hmm. if that is all gentlemen for now if you have any other things that may have popped up in your mind about jack the stitcher do do give us a call or a shout i never saw or the man I only oh, you never saw him? I never saw him. I only saw the aftermath. Well, if it happens again, just let us know. She <clears> raises <throat> her eyebrow to you. If this happens again, I will personally find you and rip off your testicles, feed them to you, and then hang you with them in your throat. <laughs> Takes her hand and shakes it. Sounds like a date. Come on, Rouge, let's go. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a leave. Thank you for the information. <laughs> I made the DM off. What the fuck? <laughs> no. Oh my god, what the fuck? I swear. Me. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Um so she promptly shuts the door on you, smacking your hand with it. Uh, <laughs> very painful smack too. The uh, the alleyways just to your right um is much darker than you're probably used to in seeing. Um but is Definitely an alley. Very easy to get someone in there, you would imagine, as uh, two, um, two houses on either side, and there's only one window in that alleyway directly leading into the house. So it's a fairly um, easy target area. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing you both walk mm. in there. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Uh, yeah. So you both walk in there, and the first thing you notice is the unbelievable, absolute, extreme stench of blood. As you look into the alleyway, you realize why. The entire ground. How much How much blood does a human body produce? Hold on. How much, much blood does the body have? The body has approximately 1.5 gallons of blood in their body is roughly 10% of an adult's weight. 
all of that Rather. blood, 1.5 gallons of blood, just soaked the entirety of this alleyway. The ground is soaked in blood, is a deep red, and it seems to have seeped into the ground. You can see why people didn't want to clean this. <laughs> Need like a fucking power washer to clean out this crap. <laughs> hmm. Reminds me of the guy when... Reminds me of a guy who held Mr. Boom Boom wrong. Less gooey. <laughs> less, less gooey. More fleshy. Yeah. Uh, as you walk into the alley and start looking over everything, uh, you do notice there is probably an 11-year-old kid who's leaning out the window and gesturing y'all to come closer to her. Yep. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> she looks at you and she's like, Are you going to catch the bad man? Maybe. Depends where he is. I don't know how where he is, but... Oh, uh... we can't help. Pulls out the <laughs> shotgun. We're going on a witch hunt. Let's go. <laughs> um, I, I saw how it happened, though. <gasps> really? How yeah. did it happen? I'm actually kind of curious about this. He, uh, pulled my brother out the window. <laughs> and started ripping his skin off. And oh. then he broke every bone in the rib cage. But he didn't... He didn't... She, he, no, she's having a hard time finding the words. He didn't cut off the skin like you would think. He had a scalpel and slowly pulled it off as carefully as you would pull off the floor of a carpet or a paper from another paper if you didn't want to damage it. He pulled it all Soft. off. Hmm. Okay. And then he cut through the rib cage. Ripped out every single organ. He seemed to be enjoying it too. And then he put it back so. together. She has a very far off look in her eyes at the moment. Stitch by stitch. Mr. Torque just kneels down and puts his hands on her shoulders. Now listen, kiddo. I know it's hard. But. Did he do it in style? She looks at you in. You don't even know what. How she's looking at you. Either in <clears throat> pure rage or confusion or horror from PTSD drama, but she's like, style? Yeah, was he having fun? Was he used to it? Any aspects of the sort where he's just like, you know, all done, all easy peasy, like it was nothing. Hmm. She, he, he, he was ha having fun with it. Um, he was smiling the whole <laughs> time. He seemed to do this a, a lot. And did he go in a s specific direction after he finished? Um, he, he went on to the rooftop, and then the, the the police came, and they started looking over everything. Went to the rooftop. Went to the rooftop. Hmm. Rouge. Do we have any way to get on through the rooftop without breaking our necks? Um, I don't think I have anything that can. Uh, oh, hmm. Damn it. Well, I guess we're going to do it the hard way. He, he's going to attempt to climb it. <laughs> uh, roll me your strength. <laughs> All right, let's see if I remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, there it is, strength roll. <laughs> <laughs> 
you you start attempting to climb it. You're not very used to climbing things or pulling yourself out. You, you don't even remember the last time you did a pull up, to be honest with you. Uh, you just start feebly attempting to climb, and you aren't even getting a foot off the ground. So he's like trying to climb it. The both of them are just seeing him, mm -hmm. and he's like, "I'll make it. I'm almost there." And he just falls. No. <laughs> Good God. Um. What is your quirk exactly? I think mine was electricity. <laughs> oh yeah. Why? Why is that still what it is? Huh? Uh, I believe. That's, yeah, your one is electricity manipulation. I have a median body type of an athlete, and I can't get up there. You also have two different strength perks. <laughs> Wait, but... He's not the most observant I, person. I... Hmm? Was that right? Uh, I have good dexterity. Can I climb the building, like in parkour? Uh, you absolutely can. Uh, you are able to literally run and jump off the building if you if you would like to by rolling um decks. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, um, <laughs> god damn, <laughs> it's above ten though. Than so me. you do, in fact, start. Practically wall running up the building. Uh, the blood covering your shoes now makes it a little bit difficult to keep steady on the wall. But you keep hopping back and forth. Uh, missing every now and again, but now to catching yourself. Before you eventually hit the top of the buildings. Um, and you do notice a couple of scruff marks from what you assume somebody else had tried to do the exact same thing you did. Probably with majority more success. Uh, as Zero is now just looking up at you about 30 feet below you. I just realized also, I'm still hurt, and I have blood on myself, so now I have a mixture of my blood and this person's. <laughs> There's so much blood on the floor, my dude. So yeah, I just watch- Mr. Tark just watches him go up there, and mm -hmm. he like slowly raises a thumbs up. Go get him, tiger! Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, Rogue, would you like to roll sense to see whether or not you can find anything up there, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll. Mm -hmm. Cool. God damn. Wow, okay. <laughs> so as you look up there, someone had definitely done this exact same thing you did. From what the little girl said, you assume it was Jack the Stitcher, who had jumped up the building in pretty much the same way you had. And as such, his foot hit the exact same rock that yours did at the very top. Uh, it was like a loose brick or something, and your foot slid right past it, creating a track mark. Uh, his foot did the exact same thing, making the track mark deeper. Um... And so you can actually see roughly where he went by A, the massive amount of blood that was on the ground probably soaked into his shoes, creating bloody footprints, which are relatively hard to see because it was probably about half a week ago. Uh, but you do know the general direction that he went. Uh, it was a little bit ago, so it might be a little bit hard to use that knowledge. But you do know where he went. So you do know roughly that he's going over there. You guys are kind of over here. Let me pull out your... Uh, there we are. This guy. This is where you guys are, hey. apparently. Boop. And he went right about there-ish. You assume that's where he probably went to go and hunt somebody. And from the looks of it, and from how he kind of dealt with... Uh, the body from what you saw inside the papers, uh, he is extremely obsessive about who and what he kills, and specifically how. If you look inside a document, almost every single body was found inside of an alley. As such, you assume that tends to be his MO. He grabs people, drags them to an alley, and then splits them open and pours the blood everywhere, probably after hunting them down uh, for a while. So if you want, you can follow up on that. 
see you can hop back down guide zero where he's going or you can kind of ditch zero and uh go over there as it is uh see if you can catch uh catch the stitcher where he is what would you like to do um sorry um cut off no you good did you not hear me um, no, I didn't, no. Okay, so basically, uh, at the moment, you know that his MO tends to be uh, that he tends to uh, grab people and pull them into the alleys. Uh, it tends to be where he does almost all of his killings. He seems to be extremely obsessive, uh, and you know roughly that he would be over here somewhere, where you can see a couple of alleyways mm -hmm. in that areas. So you could uh, go back down and guide Zero over there, or you could start basically house jumping uh and trying to get over there as quickly as possible to find him again and potentially stop him killing somebody else um <clears throat> so i'm basically at the same level as him mm -hmm. i'll try to stop him all right cool uh so you like to just kind of run over here kind of see if he's in out any of these alleys uh just kind of ditching zero uh, yeah, I mean, can you, can, can you keep up with me? Zero is far below you, so <laughs> if, I you, can't get up. if you like to no, tell him the, the general direction that you're you're going, he can probably follow you on foot. Uh, uh yeah, I can, I'll do that. Okay, cool. So, you, you tell him it's kind of over here somewhere, <laughs> you know, uh, general in that direction. Uh, Zero, do you understand these directions, or does it just is gobbledygook to you? Hmm. Hmm. Should I roll like an intelligence? <laughs> yeah, you can roll sense if you like, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know, he's Man. telling you to go in that direction. That direction, however, is into the street and there's a wall in that direction so basically he's giving me a detailed uh description of where to go i'm like yeah yeah i got it i got it now go get him before he kills anybody else and then he goes off and i'm like ah so which way was it again <laughs> <laughs> pretty much pretty much yeah all right uh also, so i need to heal so i'll take that opportunity to heal <laughs> oh yeah that's a smart plan actually uh so rogue would you like to um start uh kind of like jumping over the areas would you like to take your time kind of be slow about it try not to fall off the buildings or what you like to do he clearly hasn't been uh, seen around your specific area for a couple of days and based on the track marks it's likely that he went over to that area and probably hasn't moved from there um so it's likely uh, that you could get I there slowly but I like to. I would like to uh, to my time to make sure my um, cause I have. I'm still new to the area, so. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So you start walking uh over to the area. Uh, do you turn on your semblance, by the way? Um. Yes. I. Might as well. All right, cool. So your second your your semblance thing pops up in your head, which is kind of a weird voice of. Scanning, 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 scanning. Uh, pretty much just plays in your head as you're kind of walking out to the area. Um, as you do walk out to this general uh, kind of area, it takes you about an hour or two to kind of get over there. You don't see uh, Zero in any way, shape, or form around you. You're fairly certain he either got lost or he got sidetracked by either a woman's nice booty, a man's nice face, or a grenade fell out of his pocket and he's been searching for it for quite some time. One of those three. Um, but as you do walk out to this area, roughly, you do see... Um, signs that Jack the Stitcher has been here. Uh, if you would like, you can roll another sense check, try to kind of uh, see where he is, or you can uh, just kind of go alley to alley to alley. Rogue. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Would you like to roll sense to try and do like a survival check almost? See if you can kind of find um, uh, where he could be most likely based on a few factors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and. Well. Yeah, you, you are certain he's in this area. You're just not sure where. The bloody footprint stopped a while back, probably because the blood had died, uh, dried. And so you're fairly certain he's in a, in a, um, in an alley somewhere. But you're not quite sure where, so you're just going to start slowly, methodically checking every alleyway in this entire area for him. While you're doing that, uh, Vixie, either. Vixen? Vixie. Pray, Vixie. I'm not actually sure. I'm here. Oh, I'm, here. I'm here. I'm here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So, while they're doing their fun stuffs of trying to find a serial murderer who probably will end up eating them, or bleeding them, or murdering them, or in some fashion shape, uh, you are back inside your lab with uh, Roasted hiding, uh, you're not quite sure that he's there, uh, and Malachi uh, kind of left a while ago uh, to, he, he, uh, his character said, you know, they're going to... Uh, check up on something in their armory. You're not quite sure what this means, and the way he said it was slightly conf uh, slightly concerning, but you're used to insanity at this point. Yeah, pretty much, I mean. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Vixie, you currently have the moral dilemma of trying to decide if you wish to kill someone or to save someone, that being the same person. <laughs> And I have thoroughly decided what I was going mm -hmm. to do. I'm going to exterminate the entire Yakuza clan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, boy. This will be interesting. You <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to exterminate the entire Yakuza clan. <laughs> I have nice. spent the last, like, four hours planning everything y'all could be doing this session. That was not one. <laughs> 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 I have never been side-blinded that hard before. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Holy fuck. Uh... <laughs> 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 Oh my god. It's <laughs> 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 hilarious. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Extermination. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> what there have been very few times that I've ever been very uncertain about what to do, but I've never been side-blinded by it before. <laughs> but okay, okay, uh, so you've made that choice. Um, what research are you going to be doing? Let me look at your character real quick. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I, I definitely do know that one of my, um, uh, been around the block, I mm -hmm. do know how to get access to them and where they're located. Mm hmm Yeah, you certainly do know where they are, 100%. You also have an in because you were hired by one of them. Yep. And, so. um, I'm really well known for, um, so I probably can get in there without any provocation. <laughs> and they would know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, remember my uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Uh, no, oh, no, it was my. What was it? No, it was my Pokemon Jump, mm -hmm. where I decided to join Team Platinum, and then I yep. did a slow uh, corruption until I became the leader. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, sin. <laughs> Oh my god, are you gonna do the same thing? <laughs> I love you so Soon, much right now. The city 
will be mine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, so you're planning on doing slow infiltration. So that, you can crush them completely. However, that likely won't stop them from killing your target uh, immediately. Um, that is very true. But so what, I mm -hmm. can, what I can do is I can probably go in there and I can instead point the finger at someone else who would be a lot more threatening to their corporation. Ooh, maybe. So she did give you the 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 contract as is from what you, because you're remarkably intelligent. Uh, this just how you are. Uh, you're almost certain that she's probably put this on about five other people because why would she trust you? <laughs> yeah. Um. So you're fairly certain there are other uh, people currently hunting this man. Although you're not sure how long it would take for them to hunt him or anything of that sort. Uh, so you do have a little bit of difficulty in what are you planning on doing here. Uh, if you go directly after Yakuza, your thought process is they're probably going to go and kill him while I'm infiltrating. If you go directly towards them and you save the man, they might recognize you when you try infiltrating them uh, or a couple other factors like that. So, mm. what are you, Yes, that is very... What are you planning on doing? Because I'm assuming you don't want this man to die, which is very odd for you. You're very confused by this, but... Well, well, no, actually, given the fact that my character believes that she's morally doing the right thing, yes, mm -hmm. consideration that she does despise most human, like, she despises most, like, she despises mm -hmm. humanity as a general overtake. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes keeping the good things around long enough, mm -hmm. well... They know the, their means to an end. Basically, mm -hmm. she's extending his usefulness until the point where he's not useful. And then if he is no longer useful, then probably termination. But till then, the Yakuza are, are more corrupt and twisted morally compared to the usefulness of this somewhat kind doctor. So. True. Mm-hmm. What I'm probably going to have to do is I need someone to I, I need someone to directly interfere while not having my name be t immediately tied to the interference. I could maybe hire somebody mm -hmm. to protect him. You also potentially have arrested. I mean, technically, he's only paired up with you in that you guys got bunched together. Um, but I don't know if he's in the room true, with me. True, true. You don't you know that. You could always use sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you could try to sense him. And why, why the fuck is he stalking me in the first place? <laughs> That's my big question. Be because, you know, like, because it's because intriguing. Because <laughs> he... Oh, God. <laughs> I'll, okay. show you the, I'll show you the dark side, lady. <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> this is when Zero kills me. I don't see shit. <laughs> so you do. But you know what? I'm gonna see if I you. screw up. I'm gonna see mm -hmm. if I accidentally knock something uh, yeah, over. yeah, yeah. Um, for you, rested. That would be a because you are attempting to actively hide. Probably a eh, dexterity roll. I swear to God, get me. Let me please let me get a low roll. Please let me get a low roll. <laughs> get a natural twenty. I swear to God. Oh. <laughs> Barely got higher than her. Yeah, if you wish to make your parents known, you are more than welcome to. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this just to be mm -hmm. just to be a dick. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, so she's just looking at her computer screen, mm -hmm. right? Yep, yep. Yeah. Be like, very intriguing work you work on. As soon as I hear him, I use my telekinesis to slam him up on the ceiling. <laughs> oh! Ouch! Surprise me, surprise me again, and I'll be more than just your cranium cracking against my ceiling now tell me why are you here i was just intrigued what you were doing that's all and then she just stops the telekinesis and lets him fall on the floor <laughs> oh god she doesn't give a fuck about him Dunk. <laughs> okay yeah i definitely deserved that oh well <laughs> though mm. ironically enough you may provide your usefulness to me for once. Mm. <sighs> Cracks his neck. Ah, oh, that's better. So then she like turns on her um, 
Like, you know, those, like, spinning chairs? Mm-hmm. She has her, like, hands folded, like, neatly across her uh, lap as she has, like, uh, a leg over the other. Mm-hmm. I have a proposition for you. Hmm. So what? Interesting. You already, you said you didn't want to, well, well, you know. And now you already offered me a proposition. <laughs> well, luckily, you're actually, right now, you have the capability of proving your usefulness <laughs> to me. Therefore, having a 15% ex- extension on your life. <laughs> so, I would suggest taking it. Oh, don't worry. I will. I'll take Good. It so, as we know, recently there was a bounty put on a doctor's head, since he has been directly interfering with the Yakuza's clan's, oh well, targeted victims. Though this will not stand by by me. No. So, you are going to protect this doctor and leave my name out of it. (laughs) That's fine by me. It'd be interesting to see how this all plays out. He plays with a a deck of playing cards. Good. Now, luckily, I do have a way for us to keep in communication while also not being able to immediately track it back to my location nor my profile. You are to only communicate with me when you feel like it is safe. This doctor's life is a high time priority. He has done many great work and his extent and his usefulness to us is more than substantial. Really cat? <laughs> Sorry my cat is up, up on the top of my chair. Mm-hmm. So luckily I do have some memories of where he is currently located and some favorite spots that he would visit from time and time again. Find him and make sure that he is protected at all cost. Failure will, well, it will lead to me not being happy. And you don't want to see me when I'm not happy. Damn. He looks at her with just, <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a little grim sadistic smile. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right, I'll play your game, you rogue. <laughs> Good. It'll be interesting to see, he plays with his hand, how many emotions these members have that I can take from them. Ooh. Good. So she's going to reach inside her desk and pull out a earpiece in which she hands it to him. Mm-hmm. This will give you direct communication with me. All right. He takes it and puts it in his ear. There we go. And I'll be keeping tabs on your on everything that's been going around you and the rest of our ragtag team. I'm more of a innocent bystander in this case, but I won't. I do not mind re- relaying some information to every single one of you. Until then, I have my own business to be working with, and yeah. soon enough, well. <laughs> May I censor? See what like kind of if she has a really dark emotion in her. Uh, you're welcome to. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Well, one thing that you can tell is she has no emotion at the moment. Her voice is perfectly even. Every single one of her actions is calculated and methodical. She is not even pulling off even the uh, the cold shoulder feeling that you can pull ice out of. She literally is just unfeeling, which is incredibly, yeah. unbelievably weird to you. It's like having a snake crawl up your back is a very yeah. off feeling. <laughs> he senses this, and he's like, mm-hmm. mm, in all honesty, I feel no, almost no emotion from you. That's intriguing in all times. <laughs> I'm very aware of your capabilities. And how, and how may you ask me about that? I've kept my name mostly out of everything almost at this point. <laughs> I'm very well of your incident that happened a long time ago. I always keep tabs on quirks that are interested in that I'm interested in. 
You've done your homework. As I always do, Mr. Brad. But now, we don't have a lot of time, and and every second that ticks is another potential waste of the doctor's life. I'll be keeping tabs and research here, though do not worry about my business. Soon enough, we'll have an edge above everybody. Though I do have a thing. If I, when I do rescue the doctor, may I try to see if I can go back in there and take anything that I could find from the Yakuza, if possible? <laughs> if I can find a place in there, you're more than welcome. And I will be happy to relay any information back. I guess in this world's terms, you do me a favor, I do you a favor. He looks at you. Good. I'd like to expose those little pricks. <laughs> oh, don't worry. They'll be exposed soon enough. Let me do all the work. All you have to do is listen. <laughs> he then gets ready to walk back into the shadows. I'll see you there. And then he just disappears. <laughs> Effective. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting individual. Hmm? Let's see what I can do now. She just cracks her knuckles and begins to do her more research on the computer. Jesus Christ. What exactly are you researching? Basically, just um, since I kind of know my way around the block and, you know, Mm -hmm. probably because I have my own um, safe search. Mm -hmm. uh, Basically, just any information I can get on the Yakuza uh, recent uh, criminal records, recent... Uh, spots in the and uh, loca- like recent hits that they've made to see like to see like maybe if I can pinpoint when they're next uh well what what they plan to do next I guess mm-hmm. okay cool uh roll me uh let's go with a 1d 20 plus six okay you are very smart and very computer oriented how well do you serve uh oh that's a 62 oh what <laughs> what money I, I i i did a d20 apparently you did a two like six d2 yeah, apparently you click d2 and you click the six uh so click a one d20. so just I click just... yeah click d20 and just do one and then i'll add six to it okay <laughs> I, i'm like <laughs> Yeah, you're good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> That's. Uh, I'm gonna have you roll vantage on that. <laughs> okay. If you that get a nat twenty. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. So that's your advantage. So that's uh, plus six. That's a twelve. You actually have a very hard time finding anything about the Yakuza. The main thing that you do know is is Mitsuru, uh, the chick that you had talked to previously. She is very good at keeping shit clean. She is incredibly, unbelievably, methodically good at keeping things clean. There is almost no record of any problems that Yakuza has ever had, uh, starting from about four years ago, since, from what you can uh, gather, the death of her parents. Uh, and she took over their job. You know, for a fact that she is the uh, the head of this clan, of the Yakuza, essentially, because, well, she flaunts it, essentially. But at the same time, every other mention of the Yakuza, every instant that they've ever done since she has become head, has never made it to papers. She, they have never been a big target more or less even though you can see that they are in practically every single handhold in the city from every villain organization to every job opportunity there's a yakuza member that has lined up and has either taken the job or has been an associate for a job usually the same group of members uh it's not like hundreds of people it's like 20 to 30 people that just keep doing the same business over and over again and she is sitting pretty at the top of it from people giving her money for staying alive from people uh recruiting her services as a uh, bodyguard to you know a thousand other things uh and on top of that you notice that there's a lot of gunshot wounds in most medical places 
specifically the one with the doctor, uh, that have a lot of uh, probably are Yakuza tied. And from what you can research, almost certainly Yakuza tied. But not once in any of the papers, in any of the hero organizations, or in any of the villain organizations from your own personal contacts, does the Yakuza ever pop up for these killings. They are almost never known for these killings specifically, uh, even though they almost certainly did it from what you can see. So she seems to keep a very clean tab on everything. Hmm. It's but then, but then very again, methodical. They, hmm? But then again, they are human. And they humans are make human. mistakes. The so one they, mistake that you can find... Mistake. Let me just roll d20 to see whether or not my mis my thing wants to be a big mistake. Ah, there we go. That is indeed a big mistake. One thing that you can find is one mistake that Mitsuru herself personally made. And it seems to almost have a tie into the uh, doctor. A uh, while ago, maybe a week, maybe two weeks or so ago, uh, there was a crime boss who came into the hospital after being shot six times. And had a mosquito bite mark on his side. He seemed to have been drained of several uh, quantities of blood. Uh, it was uh, thought to have been her. But no one will ever challenge her on this. Because it's simply a mark that looks like a needle mark. And some of his blood was drained. But also he was shot six times. So that blood is he yeah. is he currently still enlisted in that hospital or is he has he been released? Uh, he has currently been he's still in the hospital, uh, still being treated by the doctor. Uh, yeah, I didn't come across this information before because while well, treating high class uh crime bosses is something that is just normal. <laughs> I mean, really, that's how they get paid. Um, yeah, stay alive in this world. Uh, but what really tipped you off here is the needle mark. He is still in the hospital, uh, specifically one where uh, the doctor frequents every now and again. It's not the doctor's main hospital because, well, the guy didn't want to go to a high-class hospital since he's a mob boss. Um, but he's definitely still in a hospital. Is it? Wouldn't it happen? Wouldn't it happen to be the exact same hospital that... Um... Raiden and Rogue went to? <laughs> let me just... Let me just... Yep. That would be the one. Yep. <laughs> and do I have any form of way that I could communicate to either of them? Uh, you do not. You didn't... You... you promptly left after you finished the mission with them you barely even communicated with the uh, zero yeah i mean fair <laughs> enough he was like hi how you doing and you were like bye <laughs> yeah oh yeah fair enough right yeah you have so absolutely this is no what i'm going to, so this is what i'm going to do knowing mm -hmm. that i'm going to grab a coat mm -hmm. sun hat glasses mm -hmm. i'm going to basically make myself very very hidden okay Disguise. and then i'm going to lock down my computer mm -hmm. and i'm going to make my way towards that hospital all right cool so you make your way to the hospital um rogue could you roll me a sense real quick uh yep uh sense thank you <laughs> Uh, I will roll 1d20 plus 3. Alright, cool. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. So, Roasted, you have, uh, gone towards a location where the doctor is, uh, to the best All of your right. knowledge from what... Huh? Alright. Yeah. Uh, and so let me actually move over to... You know, I'll just use this hospital. Because Time for me to put on my charm. Similar hospital things. Uh, so you have, in fact, gone to this location. It's a little bit of a higher class area than you're pretty much used to. You're very, very used to uh, going around areas which don't have uh, high class members, as high class members tend to irritate you excessively. Um, yeah. But this is a rather high class area. The doctor is actually treating several patients at the same time inside of the uh, hospital that you can see through a window. He seems to be uh, treating multiple people. He's giving orders to several nurses, and everyone seems to run past him. Every uh, so order. What is my mission? Him. 
your mission is to protect him if possible um and just make sure that he doesn't die before um catherine Definitely. contacts you um yep so yep. i'm going to do are there vents around uh it's a hospital almost certainly yeah so I'm looking around, I'm studying my environment, mm -hmm. since that's what I like to do before yep, yep. I do stuff like this. Is there any um, places where any enemies can come quickly out of turn? Uh, considering, we're going to assume that he's kind of in that, no, actually, it's a, that building right there because of the uh, tree that's right there. Uh, inside that room, there's an air vent, but it seems to be too small for people to come into for the most part. Uh, around you, uh, there are several windows that you can see through. Um, at the moment, they seem to be empty. They're completely empty rooms, which could be viable for setting up a sniper or setting up a pistol and shooting through the room. Um, they could also potentially disguise themselves as nurses or doctors and uh, meet him, although uh, he would probably get tipped off to the fact that he doesn't know them. So that's something uh, that you could potentially pick up on. Uh, and then they could also potentially go through the roof of that uh, uh, that room as well, because the roof seems to be, uh, like most of the building, relatively uh, thin uh, compared to the walls. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to, since I know this is a, 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 does the whole society know about who I am, or just Catherine? Just Catherine. Most of the area, uh, they believe it was a freak accident, uh, simply because the building lit on fire. <laughs> yeah. So, but, yeah. he's just gonna, he's, he's probably just gonna go with just a, a normal disguise, just mm -hmm. put on a, just put on a, a fashionable, like, um, business suit. Mm -hmm. And, but still keep his hat. Hmm. All right. All right. Time to drop the accent. All right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that. Legit. There we go. That's wonderful. Yeah. So he can drop. He can, <laughs> he can go from American to Romanian since he's both of those. Mm -hmm. American Romanian. Yep. Yep. All right. There we go. Hmm. So he I'm just gets himself walking. dressed and gets ready to just walk around the area just to make sure nice, everything's nice. okay and to feel any negative emotions that he can pick up on smart. that could recognize a killer intent. That's smart, yeah. So you start walking around the building for the most part and you're just going to spend some time making sure he stays alive as that is your primary yep. goal. And also, part. while no one's looking, mm -hmm. he, might just pull, he might just pull out a wig of a, like a little gin or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, so uh rogue uh i'm assuming that zero is just in a medical clinic at this point zero did you go back to the hospital that you just left to get treated i mean is there a medical center anywhere in the area i am uh boop. let's see uh the hospital's up here which is the one that uh catherine is going to be going to that you just left quite a while ago uh which is down here there's probably a couple of medical areas dotted throughout the area but they aren't the biggest uh but they're probably still good enough for you to go into and uh <clears throat> kind of get treated there okay and i haven't been in that hospital have i no you have not been in pretty much any of these hospitals okay so i'm gonna go to the nearest medical clinic to heal up mm-hmm and then I'm just going to wander around, see if I can figure out where I'm going and who I can find. <laughs> All right, so you start wandering around a little bit. Uh, roll me sense. Okay. Mm, sense so, is pretty much our RP uh, rule. <laughs> there we go. God damn. Okay, Better you get your pickings. <laughs> uh, would you like to uh, interact with... Uh, to go back and find Rogue using your remarkably impeccable sense direction that you did not have five minutes ago? Uh, <laughs> or would you like to like go to where the previous building is? Because you never did talk to Mask Guy. Um, or what, what have you. Oh yeah, Mask Guy, because I was already on mm. my way out because security was coming. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, but I healed regardless? or. Yep, yep, you're pretty much healed. So you can go okay, and nice. uh, find Rogue, who is currently <laughs> searching for uh, the Jack the Stitcher, who might possibly kill him. Uh, or you can go and talk to uh, 
Mask Boy and interact with Catherine up there, uh, just bumping into her. Um, you probably wouldn't go to the hospital that Rose is in, so yeah, you pretty much All get right. to choose either between Catherine or Rogue. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yeah. considering mm-hmm. considering the fact that um, I don't, last time I rolled and I didn't exactly know where Rogue was going, mm-hmm. I like to think that's still applies to it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, he's going to decide to go to the hospital area, see if he can just... As, uh, on the assumption that, hey, maybe this is where he was actually going. <laughs> hey, he's just like, oh, the hospital, right. That's where that's where Rouge Boy told me to go. All right, on the way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so, Rogue, I had to roll a little bit earlier uh, versus my own roll, which was uh, important because as you're walking around the area, you do hear a faint scream that happened for about... 30 seconds in an alleyway uh, in the middle of the night. <laughs> Which is pretty much his entire MO. Uh, <laughs> so would you like to uh, hop down into that alley? or? Uh, yeah, I want to get a close look at what's going on. So yeah, I'm All going right, cool. to the alley. So you, you kind of run over to where you heard the scream, start, hop, start hopping down and whatnot, and you see a man uh, crouched over a body, blood flowing from this body. I mean, just just pouring out of this thing, soaking this man's shoes and the uh, bombs of his, um, his cloak, which are tainted red from the amount of blood that he's doing although the weird thing is that the spots around his uh his shoulders and his uh legs and whatnot seem to be uh almost billowing as if there's wind over there although there's decidedly no wind around you but he is definitely hunched over uh his um he looks in a very odd shape honestly uh as you know a uh blade uh shining every now and again from the glint of the uh, street lamps uh, as he's sliding it all around the body. Would you like to talk to him, or would you like to just continue watching? Um, i try to talk. Mm-hmm. What would you like to say? Uh, I... Is everything okay? The, you notice the, the, his uh, entire body kind of straightens up slightly, and the head turns 180 degrees to look at you as the blade continues moving. And it's a man who has a very disturbing face. Uh, for all of you who are looking into the chat, I will share roughly kind of what he looks like. Uh... Just so you guys are able to kind of find it, kind of look at him a little bit. Uh, hold on just a moment. Um, I think it's in my brother's chat. chat list. Why can I not spell stitch? I just spelled stitch. S T I T C H. S T I T C H. Ah, thank you. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So this is, uh, more or less the picture that he kind of looks like. Not quite, this is not quite what he looks like, but this is kind of similar. I'm going to post it into the syndicate chat. There you go. That's kind of what you're seeing at the moment, roughly, and I will... Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, it's unpleasant. <laughs> I will share this for the viewers as well. Yeah, so that's kind of what he looks like. He is covered in string, almost. It's like uh, almost medical stitches and whatnot. Uh, and it's flowing over his face as well. It's actual, like, you know, the, the, the wire people use for stitches and whatnot is just covered. It looks like his face is made out of that. It's constantly moving and uh, twitching and uh, flowing over his face. It is one of the most horrifying things you have ever seen, and you have seen people people get ripped in half <laughs> as he looks at you his hands are not uh has not stopped moving although you can't see it you can only see the shine of the blade every now and again and he looks at you and speaks in a very uh, weird voice 
What do you wish? Rogue. Um. Who are you? Who am I? Well. I guess, um. You can just call me Rogue for now. Or Red. Mm. The blood has slowly started dripping almost at your shoes at this point. His hands no stop moving. Uh, before you see him pick up and move to the side, the entire skin of the of the person he was operating on, from his the top of his head to his feet, a perfect. Uh, basically, if you just cut half your body in half and just the skin, he pulled off and put on basically on the wall. His hand is now just holding it, and you notice that there's a weird connection from his hand to the rest of his arm, as it's easily further away than it should be, as his other hand, well, from the sounds of the... It sounds like he's ripping out the insides of whoever he was playing with, and you also see a heart being thrown next to you. Uh. It was... As unpleasant, if not worse, than the what the little girl expi- explained to you. I haven't. Are you having fun there? I imagine. Why else would I be doing this? Uh, don't worry about it. Um, just, just Why curious. Why are you here? Do you wish to stop me? Uh, well. To be honest, uh, there's no getting around it. Yes, I, I am. I mean, I do have to get on someone's good side. You notice his blade stops for a moment, and he looks at you. <laughs> if you do not wish to become this next victim, I would suggest running. <laughs> the rogue just you no know, stamp stands there and laps a little bit. <laughs> oh if you only knew how much I've been through. He looks at you for a second and after the next two lungs have been flown out of this body, he 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 grabs his other hand and moves the skin back over the body and starts to slowly and methodically sew up the body uh, as strings seem to come out of his face and hit the body as he tends to sew it together. I will be with you in a moment. (laughs) He does not seem to have very much difficulty in killing people. (laughs) The, uh... You know how Stain, like, when they saw Stain, there was an aura of fear that was, like, kind of produced from him? Like, a physical kind of feeling that came out? You kind of get something similar to that. That this man, he starts to stand up as he starts to kind of finish uh, sewing the body. But he doesn't properly stand up. In fact, he doesn't properly do much at all he extends almost as he turns to you the cape around him dripping blood the body perfectly sewn up at this point as you can see around him the organs of that person from their brain to their uh um what's the word to their uh pelvic organs are out on the ground next to him it looks like a, a pristine um dull more than anything else as he turns his whole body towards you and his arms are barely connected to his body but they're connected by strings and it looks like you know the the again the same wire that's around his face and around most of his body as it starts to quiver and shake and shimmer almost as if it's a flowing organism that's just moving across his entire body like a wider it's like it's like you know how hunters in halo have those uh, worms on them that's essentially what this looks like but with with string almost 
which is almost all covered in blood, by the way. Uh, as, as he turns to you, his body sh shimmering and shaking. It almost looks like he isn't properly a, a person. It looks almost like he's just a mannequin, almost, with his head and his, uh, 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 his chest frame kind of attached, uh, as the rest of his body seems to be only attached by a single string, if not more, as it seems to creep and crawl over his body. Are you here by the syndicate? Uh, funny you submitted that name. Uh, yes, I am, by the way. Hmm. Did they yeah. ask you to kill me? Ah, uh, yes. Apparently you think you're a nuisance. Hmm. My body count has risen. Would you yes. like to be added to it? Uh, I don't see myself being on that list, my friend. <laughs> you notice that he pulls out his knife that you saw glinting earlier. It's a scalpel. The sucker's dickish is sharp, and it looks like he, he even possibly made it sharper. And then you know six more on one hand. And then six more on the other hand. <laughs> Do you now? Mauve. He seems to be kind of grinning. You can't quite tell that he's grinning. But it's pretty much just him grinning. It is the most disturbing thing you've ever seen on this planet. Because his mouth is turning into a grin. But it's the strings slash wires of stuff that's kind of moving across his face into a, a, a horror show of a grin almost. Oh, this is his quirk. He's called Jack the Stitcher because he stitches people up. Um, kind of in tune with Jack the Ripper from old ages. Uh, but, yeah, he stitches people instead of rips them up. But, yeah, he looks at you and he's like, Would you like to play? <laughs> I would like to play. Rogue. Uh, that is an interesting quirk. Yeah. You see, mine's interesting too. Oh. Yes, it depends on gambling. As he's talking, mm -hmm. can see um, crimson lightning just whips it, whips just flowing off of him. Ooh. Would you see, like to roll your lightning attack? See if you can actually uh. Purple? I will. Yes. Yep. So go into your. Abilities and roll your lightning. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> lightning. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was legitimately wholeheartedly expecting you to hurt yourself with this. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, that was just going insane. So, um, <laughs> your lightning does spark out, and it starts to kind of bounce around the area, almost like a whirlwind around you, more or less. Which is quite insane. Continue. Alright, were you saying something before you used your lightning? Uh, yeah. Let me just say... My power is quite shocking. <laughs> See, that's a gamble. There's a good chance that I might hurt myself. But, but, if this works, you'll feel everything. Sheesh. And more. <laughs> so, the chaotic lightning bounces out, and the first bolt hits him. And then the second bolt hits him. And then the third bolt hits him. Do your, what, range to damage, I think? Um, range attack. Uh, we'll take the damage. Okay, damage. Uh, let's see. Yeah, range attack, uh, and then we'll just take a damage. 
Uh, you don't roll that three times, will you? Okay. That's three damage. That's four damage. So that's six damage in total, which is about half of your health, which is pretty impressive damage, actually. I'm also lowering the health for some people a lot. Uh, as it starts to shock him, you notice that it courses through not only all of his uh, his body. Um, 1D. Uh, no, deal with. Wow. All right. It courses not only through all of his body, but it also courses through every single one of his wires. As it bounces around inside of him, you can distinctly smell the smell of charcoal from the fact that you've basically taken this man's body and then fried it like an egg. And then triple fried it. And then quadruple fried it. <laughs> As he looks at you, Clearly wounded, just that's very clear, very unbelievably clear, as the wires seem to agitate themselves almost. They seem to be kind of moving over his face. And you know how the Oogie Boogie looks when mm -hmm. uh <laughs> when they have just the uh the bugs? That's kind of what this looks like as he starts to frown. That was the first time I've been hurt in a very long time. <laughs> How did it feel? I like you. I'm going to play with you more in the future. Good if luck. the future is now bright for you. Good luck, sir. <laughs> Let's see, uh, slash one D. You feel about five different hits to your stomach and your arms and your legs. He literally just threw all of, like a bunch of his scalpels at you, digging into both of your shoulders, both of your hips, and one directly into your stomach. Uh, so sure, 5D. Uh, you wanna roll that? There we go. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's the same amount of damage you did to him. <laughs> you guys just trading blows at this point. As he gets stabbed in, like, all those four areas, uh, they start to move slightly and then rip themselves violently out of you. You are now bleeding profusely. There's something about these <laughs> knives that seems to be bleeding you. Um, you're almost unconscious from that. You also notice he's very injured as well. As he starts to kind of move his body back. Uh, as the body that he already played with is just on the ground. It's perfectly sewn up. He seems to have been playing with it as well while he was fighting you. As he seems to kind of like move backwards almost like a wispy form. As he, It's almost like a haunting whisper. Don't worry, I won't kill you yet. I'm going to play with you so much more. I like you. You hurt me. You're going to experience so much fun. <laughs> As he then kind of disappears from the area. You're fairly certain that you just pissed off one of the worst people you possibly could. <laughs> uh. And now you're bleeding profusely in a pile of blood that is pretty much like over a gallon and a half of blood under you, while also you're bleeding out your like half your body at this point. As uh, you do know, some sirens popping out. Um, Assuming somebody called the uh, police, as uh, you do notice a lot of paramedics are currently uh, running in there. You ma mainly notice because the splish splashing of blood, which you're not quite sure is yours or the other person's, um, as you are immediately picked up and ran towards the, uh, the place, your wounds are being very slowly treated. Uh, as we are going to now move over to... Uh, 
Yeah, zero and Vixie. And Mal, I don't actually let's go to Mal and then we'll we'll go to Zero and Vixie when we when we end it. So hi Mal. Uh <laughs> yeah, I'd you like that. <laughs> uh Mal, you there? Oh. Mal. Can't tell if he's speaking. He's on, or not. I'm not on mute anymore, but no, oh, God, my internet. I have my reasons. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he's still in caps lock. <laughs> guy, he just shat himself or something. What a no. swell guy. <laughs> also, Zero, I sent you. Is it working? Yeah, I can do it. There you go. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck it all. <laughs> Like, you, I did a spit take because fuck your good luck outside of battle, you fucking bastard. I know, just like, good god, dude. That when could have ended broke, in so many different when I ways. Came in and you said chaotic lightning, I was gonna say, bitch, don't make me slap you. And then, what? And then this happens. Oh my god. So far, it's 2-1. Chaotic Lightning has, has taken less damage to himself than he has done to other people. But yeah, so uh, so Mal, you, you were in fact messing with the armor and whatnot. You told uh, you told Vixen, I'm gonna, gonna play around with my armory a little bit, you know? Just don't do that, which slightly concerned her, but also she didn't care much because she had other stuff on her mind. Uh, so where, where have you been going? Well, uh, Zero got well, lost. And Vixie is now hunting down uh, people. I was in my armory and I was constructing a, a weapon out of the parts I had from an old weapon. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. So I was uh, constructing a like you know those short like is it Kodachi like the short yeah yeah the short swords arts? yeah. Yeah, th those I, mm -hmm. I I constructed one of those except for it's ruby style. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, it's a, nice. it, it has a, it's not a gun, mm -hmm. but it can uh, channel my water. In it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because ruby stuff can channel through certain dusts. So yeah, yeah. that's hundred percent possible. So yeah. instead of dust powered, it's me powered. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. So now I have a close range weapon for my <laughs> long range shit. <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent. All right, cool. Uh, so, so you spent quite some time it? working on uh, working on your things. Uh, this so, is all taking uh, place about for about six hours, I think, so far. Is zero getting so lost and going back to Vixie, Vixie doing her stuff, um, Rogue doing his stuff. What was that? Where's what? Where is everyone on the map? So, uh, so let me pull out your guys' pictures. Uh, let's see. I would be at the base still uh, doing armory yeah. stuff. Brad would be over here-ish in a hospital. Uh, okay. You would be at the villain hideout, roughly. Uh, John, y'all don't know where the fuck he is. He's somewhere. Zero's over at this hospital. And Rogue is, well, he was in this alleyway here. But now he's being rushed very quickly all the way up to this hospital because it's a little bit higher tech. And Vixen yeah. is also at this hospital. All three of them are there for different reasons, and they don't know each other are there, by the way. Okay, so... Funny enough. I'm going to... Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going to see the news seeing... Uh, in, uh, the news with him being carted off in the ambulance oh yeah yeah so um i would see that happening so oh, 100 percent. yeah so you're you're making some stuff you you took a little bit of break you started watching the news and stuff like that probably uh, i'm drinking a beer yeah and uh you hear on the news oh, uh it's a newscaster boy. male um and he's like <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we have brought to you to your attention several attacks that have been taking place over the last couple of weeks which has also been taking place on top of of child abductions from around the uh, country in every single U in every single uh, hero high school people are starting to pull their children out of the high schools because their children keep getting abducted by who we do not know where we do not know everywhere but 
there is a new killer among the loose. And we have, in fact, found enough information in order to be able to specify him to all of you to keep you, uh, to keep you all on the lookout. Do not go into alleyways. If it is nighttime, do not go outside. For there is a new killer called Jack the Stitcher. He pulls up a. Uh, if he, he pulls up a uh, very heavily modified uh, picture, censored all the way, uh, of a body that looks to be stitched up at the sides. This is the corpse of one of his newest victims, Mr. Mark E. Plyer. <laughs> Shut up, I couldn't think of a good name. It's, uh, no, I, I got this for you, bud. Mix, Mr. Jackson. Oh, there First you go. His name, Percy. Percy oh, Jackson. God. Yeah, Percy there Jackson. You go, guys. Mr. I Jackson did. here. This killer hunts <laughs> for certain victims, pulls them into alleyways in the middle of the night, and then rips out their insides and puts them back together. Today, we have managed to find the only victim that he has attacked that has stayed alive. The screen goes, uh, blank and pulls up, uh, Rogue's general attire rather than his, uh... Holy shit! Yeah. This man... That's my partner. Uh, this man, whom we can only identify as Rouge, was taken in just moments ago in or into the, uh, what hospital did I name this sucker? Uh... Hospital. The Silver Cross Hospital. He was taken there from grievous wounds, from five different what appears to be scalpel wounds, and a massive loss of blood. Hopefully he will recover, but at the moment, he is in critical condition. We uh, welcome you to I, the scene. Hmm? I throw a beer bottle off the TV and start rushing out the door <laughs> see my part uh, see, uh, see one of my partners. And I, mm -hmm. yeah. I drive a more... Uh, you know uh, Final Fantasy? Uh-huh. You know the... I, I steal a bike that looks similar to the one Cloud Drive. I Ooh, steal very that nice. drive over there. Very nice, yep. So you do, in fact, drive all the way over there. And you do actually, as you drive all the way over there, um, a few hours had passed since uh, Vixie had been doing her work, and Zero and Zero had also been walking up there at the same time. And you see Zero kind of like casually strolling towards the hospital there, looking pleased as punch. Uh, a girl wearing a sun hat uh, and a cloak walking there. You don't actually know as much about her besides that she has sun hat, but Zero is very goddamn obvious and there's also an ambulance in front of the hospital and that my friends is where we're going to stop it for today just a few minutes be uh before nine because Cameo. i've got to go do some uh food stuff so yeah i do apologize uh for you not being here so far but you no, got to okay. see just... yeah you got you got to see the horror show that was i was really yeah. going for today <laughs> i don't mind uh missing today because i yeah, yeah, you got some family honest. troubles. But uh, thank yeah. you guys for being here. It's really, really good. And hopefully next week we're going to see uh, what happens to, you know, why Jack the Stitcher is now fixated with, Roast with Rogue's character. Whether or not Roasted will be able to protect this doctor, although it's almost certainly he can if they're just running the milk grunts, but he doesn't know if they will be. Uh, what Catherine and Zero and Malachi will be doing at the hospital, see if they can talk to a few of the other people, um, see if they can get more information. And you guys have also been known that there are now child deductions from all the different different hero schools including ua although mugen has not been touched as of yet from what you guys have seen from the news so far so that might be something interesting as well and then on top of that uh rogue stuff's report back to the big boss guy and he said that he had another mission for all of you for when uh you were able to take it so that's something you might be able to do as well. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys did, please like, comment, subscribe. Go check out the description below. Have all the fun with all the stuff down there. And go check out everybody else's series in here too. Uh, Vixer runs own campaigns, which we post every Tuesday and Thursdays. So please do check that out. Also Titans Clash, which is also very fun. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Auf Wiedersehen. See ya. Bye.